treat everybody with respect. And uh, I believe the same will come back to you. Really, my motivation is my kids. I do anything and everything for them. You know, I might push a little hard, you know, get on their nerves a little bit, but, you know, it's all, I do it to, you know, make them a better person. You know, I love being a father. I love the unconditional love, you know, and, and I love them the same way. That's my pride and joy. I, I live for them. I do what I do for them. My advice to them is never give up on what you want to do. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Don't ever give up trying to do it. The Lord put me in the, in the right spot at the right time, you know, and you know, I'm just glad I was there. The incredible story of survival concerning a four-year-old boy he was living in his home for two days, all alone after his mother had died in their apartment of natural causes. For two days, little four-year-old Brian Allen Jr. survived on his own, drinking milk and maple syrup inside this East Delavan Avenue apartment. His mother, 43-year-old Shalina Hamilton, having died from natural causes. Even though neighbors heard the child crying, it was not until employees and driver Taiwan Littleton from the Kensington Avenue Rent-A-Center did anything about it. You know, basically, when, when he first answered the phone, I was like, um, you know, let me talk to your mom. And he was saying that she was asleep. I was like, well, you know, can you go wake her up? Well, she's not waking up. So I asked him, you know, well, is your mom arms and legs moving? Um, he said no. So at that point, that's when I went over there. And when I arrived, I was able to look through the window and. So um, his mom passed away. The thought is I have a little daughter myself. She, her name is Renaya. She's four years old, you know, and, and um, Hey, um, obviously you're here for a reason, and we just wanted to take a brief minute to, to honor you because you guys are on the front line every day, serving our customers, helping our coworkers get better, and providing value in people's lives. So the award that we're presenting you with is called the Outstanding Servant Leader Award. And we don't give it away very often, maybe a handful of times in the last dozen years or so. Uh, and it's been a, a couple of years since we've handed this award out. And so we want to take a moment and provide this award to you. We've got a clock with your initials on it. Hold it. And at some point, I think we've already turned it to Buffalo time. <laughs> Look at that. And a $2,500 check. Huh? A $2,500 check. Yeah. Relax, enjoy, have a great day, and we're glad you're here. And once again, thank you on behalf of all the Renaissance Center coworkers. Uh, we appreciate your service and what you mean to the company. So thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. My coworkers, I, I believe they are just like me. You know, um, just because they wasn't there at that spot that day doesn't mean they don't go over and beyond. They do that a lot for our customers. I, I, I would believe that most human beings would do the same thing. I'm just normal. There's nothing changed about me. I'm the same old person.